Welcome to June's LeetCode Challenge. Today's problem is sum root to leaf numbers. Given a binary tree containing digits from 0 to 9, each root to leaf path could represent a number. For example, we're given a binary tree that looks like this. 1 to 2 represents one of the root, root to leaf paths, and that's going to represent the number 12, while 1 to 3 represents the other root to leaf path, and that's going to represent the number 13. So we want to return the total sum of all these root to leaf numbers. And that's going to be 12 to 13. 12 plus 13 equals 25. So this problem is simple enough. We could just do a pre-order traversal, passing along a list where we add up these numbers. And at the very end, we're going to convert those into a string and add them to another output list outside. So basically, say we're traveling in this binary tree, we'll create a list that contains 4, then 9, then 5. And once we reach um, a leaf, we'll add that to an outside uh, um, variable called output. And we'll just concatenate those into a string 495. And later on, we could sum those up by converting those strings back into an integer. So let's begin. First, we want to note that if there's no root, then we could just return 0 immediately. So if not root, just return 0, because it's an empty binary tree. Next, I'm going to initialize an output. Just make that a list. And let's create our helper method. And I'm going to call this pre for pre-order traversal. We're going to pass in a node, as well as a list of what we've added up so far. We're not adding that up. We're appending them into a list so that we could concatenate those into a string later, uh, because just adding those up isn't going to work since these are all integers. We need to convert those back into a string and then concatenate those and then convert that into an integer. OK, so the first thing to write is our base condition. We'll say if this is a leaf, if this node is a leaf, then add, add our node value to this list, convert it into a string, and add it back into our output. So say that so far we've calculated like 1, 2, 3, and now we know we're at a, a leaf. We'll add that here at the end. We'll convert this into a string like this, and then we'll add that to our output. So that's a mouthful, but it's not too bad. So how do we know that this is a leaf? Well, if not node.left and not node.right, we know that this is a leaf, right? So we're going to add to our output, we'll append, and we'll add, let's see, whatever we got so far, plus string of node.val, this current node's value. And this is going to be a list, so we want to convert this into a string. We'll use our string join method, and that's going to add a string that represents the number. And later on, we can we can convert that back into an integer to create find our sum. Now, if we not at our base condition, we just want to do a normal pre-order traversal. So that's going to be pre no dot left plus so far plus the same thing here. We're going to convert into a string, and we'll do the same thing for the right side. Now, one thing to note, though, is in this case, we're going to hit an infinite loop because it's not going to stop when uh, th there's no node.left and not node.right. But what if there's just node.left, right? So we need to make sure that there is a node.left um, before we even get in here. So if node.left, then we can call this. And if node.right, then we can call this as well. And that way, we could avoid hitting any infinite loops. Now that we have our helper method, we're going to pass in the root, as well as an, just an empty list. That's going to be our uh, list that we build up. And that should, at this point, have all the root to leaf nodes or root to leaf paths represented by numbers. And we want to convert those into an integer and sum those up, right? So let's see. We'll do, um, we'll convert x. 4x in output, and we'll just sum those up. We'll use the built-in function, and we can just return that. So let's make sure this works. This should return 25. It does. Submit that. 
and accepted. Um, so yeah, this isn't too hard of a question. It kind of surprised me because the questions have been getting a lot harder lately. So maybe people have been complaining and LeetCode decided to put out like a relatively easy one. Most of the confusing parts here is really converting integers into strings and concatenating them and joining them and all that. Uh, but the logic itself isn't all that hard. So hopefully that helps and thank you.